Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. So in this video we're taking a look at an item which I think is potentially the only item of its class that's being released this year, and it's one which I haven't seen available in Australia, I did have to purchase online, we'll talk a little bit about the pricing later on. Um, but it is an interesting product given the direction of the brand, and it is this, the 2023 Thomas Minis Advent Calendar. I have a bit of a complicated history on this channel with advent calendars. If you do a little search, and I'll also put in the description below the previous reviews I've done on the Minis advent calendars, um, I've really been uh, a bit back and forth depending on how many new Minis they've got. This one captured me because it looks like it's got some exclusive metallic minis. And if you've seen any of my minis reviews, you'll know they're some of my favorite ones. So I couldn't resist, pick this up, even if I did pay probably far too much for it. Um, but let's open it up, take a crack, and um, see whether this ticks the box of the Christmas theme. Um, I haven't had a close look intentionally before filming this video as to what has been included in previous calendars, um, because I want to try and evaluate this as someone who's looking at this not just from a collecting the minis perspective, in which case you're probably already going to buy it, but whether it's something that you'd actually be recommended, I'd recommend as an advent calendar, as something that is Thomas related and can go into a Christmas collection. And so that for that reason, you might see me talking about some uh, minis which I've already reviewed, um, but I am doing that because I want to try to evaluate this as a set, not just based on the exclusive minis uh, from this year, noting that I haven't picked up all the advent calendars. So to be honest, I don't even know which uh, top Christmas minis I have and don't have. So, that little intro aside, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Let's take a look at the box for these Thomas Minis here. So, the first thing I want to note is that you can see we've got an interesting mix of styles. We've got the old style engines in the box, but what looks very, very much like the All Engines Go Natford Station there, All Engines Go Tunnel style, and also All Engines Go Rail style. So. This is certainly an interesting hybrid of the two different lines, and I'm curious to see how that's gonna reflect the packaging on the inside. You can see we get a big picture of what looks like the metallic Thomas and James. We've got a little Toby there. We've got Steven who's making an appearance for God knows why. Percy around the side here. We've got Edward and uh, Toby. So again, very interesting choices, but the graphics definitely look very all engines go like. We come around to the back and you can see, I think we get some kind of play mat by the looks of things in this uh, advent calendar. We get 24 minis, we get 24 of what looks like these little, um, you know, cardboard cutouts you can use as baubles. Yeah, certainly looking like a lot more value than some of the previous minis years come to the top that's what it looks like on the top you can see there's a little picture of rebecca which is interesting given she's no longer in the show and then we've also got the old cgi style thomas pictures on the side so i'm gonna unwrap this and let's take a look okay so the first thing to note is when you unwrap the box the actual wrapping which was this section is the part that unfurls to give you this little layer and it is extremely all engines goified which is really interesting um but that's really cool it's nice to get a little play mat to go with these minis um is it a chaotic layout yeah it certainly is there's no particular loop and it just disappears off the edge but I think in all the circumstances, this is quite nice, quite fun. I think it would be a lot of fun for kids to have this. And, you know, it's a little piece of cardboard. It doesn't cost Mattel any money to include that. So happy about that. But now we can come and look at what we get inside, which is this, which again, very, very well packaged. I love this. Looks like a gift. We've got some Christmas themes. We've got this style of CGI picture, which I really, really like, actually. The ribbon. Ah, and then you open it up, and it opens up like a kind of book advent calendar, which is quite nice. It seems to have wanted to stay like that, which is which is fine. And then again, interestingly, if we look at the artwork on all of these uh, little baubles, they're very, very uh, classic series reminiscent, except potentially that one looks like All Engines Go, that looks All Engines Go like. But all the other ones seem very... Yeah, I actually quite like these. I thought these were going to be throwaway items um, for me, but I am now thinking that I might keep them and potentially put them on the tree, or at least some of them on my Christmas tree, or at least you know maybe stick them around my my desk or something, my post-it uh, stamps. Yeah, I'm actually quite impressed. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open these from the back uh, so that I don't spoil the surprise of which one's on which day for anyone, um, and then we'll have a look at the minis inside. 
So I've now somewhat chaotically arranged all of the items that have come out of this advent calendar. And you can see that it's actually a very good selection. You can see we've got quite a few what I understand are repeats, but I don't necessarily think I've seen all of them. Winter slash Christmas theme minis here. We've got the six, which are I understand are exclusive to this advent calendar. And then we've got the other ones which have been uh, mixed through. And I know very few of them are the kind of quote unquote ordinary minis. So I actually am very impressed from the outset as the selection that they picked. But let's take a look first at the ones you're probably all here to see, which are the exclusive ones for this year. So these three are not our metallics. We get these three metallics and already you can see they look fantastic. So if we bring Thomas in for a closer look, uh, immediately I talked about this before. I love that they started using the faces to do some different things. I love the little rosy cheeks. Reminds me very much of the snowy uh, Thomas that was that metal engine, very end of Trackmaster. Uh, energy. Um, love the metallic. I love the printing on this one too. It's very classy. It's again lacking in resolution as all minis prints tend to do when they're up close, but I think this is this is phenomenal. This is a very stunning looking mini. Very, very happy about that. Percy is again another fantastic job. And again, interesting to note that Percy seems to be done in the new style with the extra riveting, but Thomas does not seem to be done in that style. And I'll talk about that a little bit more later as well. Um, again, we've got Percy looking a little bit cross-eyed, which I understand is actually intentional because he's looking at the snowflake on his nose and he's also got the cheeks. Um, again, very classy with the uh, baubles on the side and the um, little bow on the top. Yes, these are exactly the kind of minis that I think they always should have done. These kind of like ones which uh, make sense to be minis um, without being too crazy. And then last of the metallics, we get James, again with the rosy cheeks, good for some continuity. Again, we've seen similar ones that have James with bells on him, um, but I think certainly this is fantastic with that design. I think it really, really does wonders. And again, you can see James is of the newer style. He's got the additional rivets on him as well. Which is a bit interesting. I don't know why they didn't do Thomas in that style, but for whatever reason they haven't. So these three, 10 out of 10 winners if you ask me. Coming to the other new engines, we've got this Pon Poncietta, Poncetta, is that how you say it? Uh, Emily, and again, I'm not sure if she's supposed to have this kind of face where she's looking off to the side, but mine at least is looking off to the side. Um, but again, I think she looks quite nice. It's a bit more muted, it's a bit more of undertones, but again, it is very nice and it, it's... It, it's it's how do I how do I say this without stuttering? Um, it's the perfect middle um, that I've talked about a lot in my minis reviews of being different enough so that it's interesting. For example, with the red wheels and the right running board, but similar enough so you can instantly say that is meant to be Emily. Uh, you see, Emily's got a bit of flashing there that hasn't come off on her smoke box. That's from plastic that should have come off when she got came out of the in, the molding. There you go. I've just scratched it off now, but something to note: I haven't seen that before. I don't think. Coming now to Toby, again, it's great to see that Toby's still getting representation um, in these kind of sets. Fantastic. Perfect, again, use of Toby's front to put on the little beanie with the tails. Wonderful. I love the printing on the top. It's very bold. I really like the kind of shiny gold that they've used here for the bell. This is also fantastic. I love the little Christmas dogs. Yeah, just, just wonderful. I really, really like that one. Um, you see that one there who's holding on some Christmas lights in his mouth. So yes, this is another fantastic Christmas themed one. And then last but not least, we've got Edward, which I think is an interesting choice for a new one. Again, you know how much I love the glitter, particularly the little wheels in this case, they look great. Edward's face is a little bit funny. He kind of looks like he's wearing some kind of head scarf. Maybe that's the intentional, I'm not sure. Um, or it's just the quality control of minis going down the toilet. But this one is extremely cute. So again, I love the white. And you come in and you can see that it's meant to be a kid's drawing of a Christmas tree and a house with some presents. And I think that's extremely cute. I love, love, love that. Very, very wholesome. Again, and it fits perfectly within the minis kind of world. So as far as I'm concerned, the six exclusive minis that you get this year are fantastic. Definitely worth picking up if you haven't picked them up already. Very, very briefly then, let's take a look at the other minis that you get in this set. So I know we've seen the Ice Sky Lowy before. It's one of my favorite minis of all time. Very, very happy to see that back here again. Snow Scruff, I know, I remember looking at before. Again, another great one. Probably a little bit too different if you ask me from the normal Scruff, but still looks very, very nice. I have a distinct recollection of seeing these Christmas minis before, but you probably may know better than I do. The Santa one is a great one. I think it's good to include that in this set. Whoops, 
dropped him now. And we also get the kind of candy cane James, which again looks great. Um, the one comment I would make about this set is it's interesting that they've chosen to repeat, or who they've chosen to repeat, I suppose, uh, in this set. And you've got quite a few of the same characters, but that's okay. Uh, we've got this Snowy Gordon, which I think we have seen before. Again, it's another great mini. His face looks a little bit like it's been painted on too much, but I do like the white overspray they've done here. Uh, to make it look like he is puffing into the snow. So that's another good one. Steven, clear with the... I don't know if I've seen this one before. I really like it, though, but it's just... I, I just don't know if I've seen it before, but definitely very, again, very, very nice. Very, very Christmassy. Happy with that. This Percy, again, is one which I feel like I should have seen before, but it really, really like it. Um, uh, it's, again, I should not like it because it's too uh, non-Percy. Very very blue, but for some reason it's really grabbing me. I think it's the combination of the baby blue with the darker blue and the white. Very good combination. Again, another great item. This, uh, is it Bill or is it Ben? Who is to say? Well, this twin, because um, you can never tell with minis. Fine, we've seen him before. Yep, that's good. These two, equally, I feel like I have seen them before, but I also can't quite remember. But again, they look great. I'm not sure if Luke's face is supposed to be like that. He's looking very much at the ground. Um, but again, looks great. There's a snowman, and we've got like a gingerbread house. Uh, Rosie? Yes, Rosie. I had to double check that. It wasn't Belle. Um, and yeah, she looks really, really good. Oh, some of them have actually got their names written on the bottom. But not all of them. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't even think to check underneath. That one says Thomas VA. What does this one say? Yes, Edward. Okay, so they've gone to printing them sometimes. But for example, this one, which we actually want a name for, we've got no name. What's that about? Yeah, okay. Super inconsistent, but not important for the purpose of this review. Lastly then, and I've totally wrecked up the order now, you can see we get the classic engines. We get Duck. Again, this one's we've seen before. Uh, I know he previously had white wheels, I think. Has he got? Has he always had grey wheels, or is that a change? Uh, in the audience, you'll know, and I'll definitely have a look at this after I finish this video. Perfectly fine. Great to see him. We've got Diesel here. Again, interestingly, he is not the newer style with the uh, rivets on him. So that's just... I don't know what's going on there. Old stock? Who knows? We've got two slime engines. I really liked these ones. Again, I don't remember if I've seen these specific ones because there were a couple of series of minis there towards the end where I kind of got half of them, but not all of them because they just weren't released in Australia. Um, but these look great. Love the slime minis. Uh, I think they look really cool, that, that translucent, transparent color. Uh, and again, I think they kind of work in the Christmas vibe. So happy with that. Uh, we get a just the, the OG troublesome truck. This one's got some weird printing on his face. That is what it is. We get a Henry. Nice to see Henry making an appearance. There are some winter slash Christmas Henrys. Disappointed they didn't maybe put him in, but that's okay. And then lastly, we get these two. Oops. Which, like, kind of give me Johnny Bond Sodor energy. And the James feels familiar, but the Thomas does not. So I really can't remember if I've seen these before. Um, James's face looks really interesting here. Something about it's different. Ah, because he doesn't have the whites in the eyes. That's what was different about the new one. Yeah, so you can see the older one doesn't have the whites in the eyes, and the new one does. Is that them trying to all engines go things? Oh, this is that thing where I'm just noticing. It's those new ones have the whites in the eyes, but these older ones don't. Interesting. But anyway, these two, as the last two, are also very cool minis. Very glad to have them. Love the coal dust spark energy. And that's all of them. And look at that. And we've talked about them in under nine minutes. Okay, so time for some final thoughts and pricing. Normally, I would split up a minis set or collection and say which ones I like and which ones I don't. But this might be the first set of minis, both either a series or an advent calendar in a very long time, where I like all of the minis in here. They are all fantastic. This is a great selection of minis. You get a lot of fun, winter, unique themed engines that look really nifty. You get some cool quote-unquote normal variants, as well as just some classic characters, which I think are totally fine and appropriate. So this, to me, is probably one of, if not the best, Minis Advent Calendar I have ever seen, which is surprising given we're pretty much appearingly at the end of Thomas Minis. It kind of does feel like they've gone all out with the Minis this year, from the metallic engines, to the fact that we get the ball balls as the doors, to the fact we get the playmat. 
and the presentation, all of this stuff's coming together really, really well. Um, I, I like to give credit where it's due, and to me, this is a set that uh, Mattel have finally worked out what they're doing and have knocked it out of the park. Now, it, that's why it's so unfortunate that it doesn't appear like this set is getting very wide distribution. I've only seen this online in the UK, and I did order it through Amazon Australia, but from the UK, shipping from the UK. I paid 60 Australian dollars this on Amazon, which is very expensive. Um, towards the end of the Thomas Minis run, and I know they do still appear in some Australian stores, the um, wave that has the clear bags, you can see the engines in it. I saw um, a couple of weeks ago at a Target in Australia near the checkout. So there's still some minis floating around, but they are about $1.50 to $2 each now. Um, so if you think you get 24 minis, well, in Australia to pay that f at full quote unquote price, you know, you're actually not paying a huge markup. Um, because, you know, two or 24 minis would be about $48. So $60 for the advent calendars, given that, for example, the Lego advent calendars are $60 and, you know, you're, you're paying a lot more per piece than you are for just a normal $60 Lego set. Um, I actually don't think that price is too bad. I think I'd like to see this at about 50 Australian dollars. I think that would be a pretty fair and reasonable price given what you get. Um, but particularly this year, I think given how many of these are good minis, uh, how many, um, you know, uh, extra features you get, totally worth it. The problem is going to be if you're like me and you've already got half of the ones in this box, the expense obviously starts to make a lot less sense, um, because you are paying a lot more per mini that you've actually collecting uniquely. That's something for you to consider, but certainly I would recommend picking this up. I think a lot of Thomas collectors and minis collectors will have a fantastic time. Even if you're getting some repeats, I think it means you can do lots of things. I, I have a little minis Christmas display now, and it's suddenly tripled in size, which is wonderful. Um, and I really do can't recommend this enough, which I was not expecting when I started this review, given that I've been a little bit underwhelmed by some of the previous advent calendar offerings, um, which is why a lot of them I haven't even bothered to go out of my way to purchase. So... After all that, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for sticking with this review. It's a bit of a longer one. And as always, that's all we have time for. This is Extreme Trains.